three tips that I like to make sure I cover when I go out to the piers. Pier fishing. Three tips. Top three tips. First things first, when you get out to the pier, don't forget to bring some sort of rod holder. And rod holders on the piers are an interesting thing because there's nowhere to really stick it. But if you have a sand spike, uh, and if you don't have a sand spike, make sure you see our video for that sand spike. We'll teach you how to build one. Uh, but grab your sand spike. Don't forget smooth edges. And also grab this, uh, a ratchet strap. What you're going to do with this ratchet strap and sand spike is you wrap that ratchet all the way around that pylon, uh, the little bridge columns, stick that, that pole right inside that ratchet, and secure it, make sure it's secure real nice and tight. I got a bum thumb because the skipjack got me. Now you've got yourself a rod holder just like that. Another method for the rod holder is make sure you bring yourself some duct tape. Get yourself some duct tape. Duct tape will save little nicks in your rod if you're gonna go with the lean it to the pier style of indicator when you're setting your rod holder down. And just a few strips of duct tape, that's a cheap, cheap fix for making sure that your rod's gonna be secure. And the third thing, that I like to have when we go to the pier is sabikis. Sabiki rig, sabiki rig, sabiki rig. These things will help you a ton uh, when you are going out to the pier. There's so much bait hanging out at that pier and you're gonna need to bring some up. Get yourself some little gold hook sabikis and bring those bait up. Earlier today, when we went down to cast net to get some bait, I was pulling up the net and bang, something like stuck me right in my thumb. And I looked up and it was these guys. They call them skipjacks. And they've got these nasty, nasty spines on top right here that they don't only stick you, but they cause a really painful throbbing and like a toxin or a poison gets down in there. And I mean, look at that fish. He, he doesn't even really have scales. He's got skin, that yellow tail. It almost looks like a tuna tail. You can see how that looks back there. But either way, be careful out there. Never caught anything using them as bait. And uh, I've even watched the birds turn their nose up at these things duct tape, rod holder with a ranged strap, and a sabiki. Those are three essential things to make sure you take and you'll give yourself a much more comfortable opportunity catching some fish on that pier. Something's crashing on them. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. There you go. There you go. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Hey, you guys go pier fishing? How do you do out there? Did you hear about the fisherman who jumped into the ocean? I heard it was because of peer pressure. <laughs>